Kyrie Irving has been one of the best scorers across the NBA for the past decade, and that continues to be the case today. But at 31 years old and currently playing in his 13th NBA season, Kyrie has slightly evolved as a scorer. And in this video, we're going to take a closer look at the film and stats to see exactly how he's doing that. Now, throughout Irving's entire career, the foundation for his game has always been his three-point shooting. If we look at Kyrie's shooting spreads from his 2016 run with Cleveland, his biggest chunk of field goal attempts came from behind the line. And that continues to be the case today. Now, whether Kyrie is playing in transition, isolation, or pick and roll, his first option is to always look to shoot if he has space. Irving is very comfortable pulling the trigger off the catch and dribble. Plus, he's also one of the league's best tough shot makers. Stare down, jab step from the corner. Now, Irving has built up the reputation for being one of the most flashy and show-stopping players across the league. But when you sit down and watch a full Dallas Mavericks game, you'll find out that Kyrie for the most part keeps the game extremely simple. And you can see that with how he generates these outside looks. Right here, you'll see him receive this kick ahead pass. And from half court, he's just going to take one dribble. And he reads that he has enough space to comfortably rise up. Now he's going to receive this pitch into a ball screen. And without taking a dribble, Irving already reads that he has enough space to step into this left right three right off the catch. One of Kyrie's best shots is this simple one dribble pull up right off the screen. Irving gets at least three or four of these looks off every game. And what makes this shot so deadly is both how decisive Irving is when coming off the pick and how efficient his footwork is into his shot. On this play, watch Kyrie catch and Reed Gobert drop just below the level of the pick. And when the screener gets set, Kyrie is going to take one dribble and hop into this three going right. You'll see him use the same footwork here, where again, Kyrie is working off the screen going towards his right. And he has this pocket of open space to rise up. So Irving is going to simply take one dribble and hop on two feet to elevate up. This shot right here is low key tough, where Kyrie is now going to take one dribble to his left for a pull up, but notice how much ground he covers with just one dribble, and watch him here let the ball hang, as he steps his feet around to get squared for the pull up. And then of course, Kyrie also has plenty of ways to generate 3 point looks in isolation. This hezzy pull up is one of his go to moves, where Irving is going to go between then skip his feet up, selling the right hand blow by. And when he steps into the shot going right left, notice how he pushes the defense's momentum back, which now gives Irving plenty of space to rise up. This is a nice variation off that move, where Irving is going to again go between and lift up into a hezzy. But now, to create additional space, Kyrie is going to bring his back foot across and punch off it into a step back. That's six rebounds for Tillman, but the Dallas Mavericks big you see Kyrie. And what also makes Kyrie so hard to guard is that he has countless of counters layered into every single one of his moves. Watch him here get back to that between and skip. But notice how the defense this time is going to step forward, which then causes Kyrie to explode downhill into the strive to then slam the brakes and separate for a midi. Now Irving also generates a good amount of threes from this triple threat position. And again, Kyrie from this spot keeps the game really simple. If the defense crowds his space, Kyrie is going to use both his quick first step and shiftiness to create a driving angle. But if the defense does give him space, Irving will simply rise up into a three. You'll see him here matched up against a 6'10 Jaden McDaniels and Irving is able to get him skating back with these jab steps, which then creates a window for him to rise up. This is an interesting shot here, where Kyrie is now pivoting off his right foot, which now makes his left foot his jab foot. And the balance from this spot can be pretty awkward for most righties, but Kyrie from here is very comfortable facing up and creating another three with his pivots. 
So because the defense has to respect Kyrie as an outside shooter, that in return opens up both his mid-range and rim scoring. And this is where I think we really begin to see the new mold of Irving's game. Now going back to Kyrie in his younger days with Cleveland, I'm pretty sure we all have those old highlights stuck in our head where Irving used to hit 5-6 to six dribble combinations just to create an attacking angle. And I'm not saying this style of play was necessarily wrong for him, but when we jump ahead to 2024 and look at his game today, it is pretty clear that Irving has cut a lot of fat out of his game. If teams try to blitz or give Kyrie any type of pressure from beyond the three, Irving is not going to mess around with the ball. He's just going to pick a shoulder and decisively burst into a drive. Right here, you'll see this big try to step up and meet Irving at the level of the screen. But from here, watch how Kyrie is going to swipe with his off arm, then lower his shoulder to explode right past the defense's top foot. And again, all these driving options stem from Irving's outside shooting. On this play, you'll see Kyrie playing with the ball in transition. And notice how this defender tries to pick him up 30 feet from the basket, which gives Kyrie the leverage to attack downhill. And I also love how Irving uses his strides to pick up momentum into this drive. Notice here how he skips off his right foot, then punches his left foot back, which kind of pulls him forward. And then of course, Irving at times does bring out the handles, but a vast majority of the moves he makes are quick and efficient. You'll see him here working off the screen. And notice how Irving has both OG and Anobi on his hip, and Jalen Brunson waiting for him here and drop. So Irving from this spot is going to cross the ball back over to his left, which moves Brunson out of position and gives Kyrie all this open space towards his right to attack back into. I love this move here, where Kyrie is able to pull the defense's momentum up by curling the ball in and selling that he's gathering for a shot, but then he's going to push the ball out and explode into a drive, to then get to this acrobatic reverse layup. Now throughout Irving's entire career, his mid-range scoring has always been a huge element in his overall game, and that continues to be the case today. But, one big difference in 2024 is that Irving is generating a lot more shorter in-between pull-ups. According to Synergy Sports in Kyrie's 2015 season, about 67% of Kyrie's in-between pull-ups were outside of 17 feet. But when we jump ahead and look at those same numbers from this year, there is a pretty drastic difference. When looking at the film from this year, one of the first things that stands out to me is how physical Kyrie plays. Now Irving has always been a strong physical point guard throughout his career, but I think recently he's taken that to a different level. When matched up with opposing team's point guards, Irving has no problem turning his back and playing bully ball in the post. And he's obviously not the kind of guy to get to a drop step or bully somebody below the rim. But he's still very comfortable throwing his weight around to then create these short turnaround jumpers. You'll see Mike Conley on this play get switched on to him. And watch how easily Kyrie works him all the way down into the paint to then pivot out and create this turnaround jumper right over him. Now Irving's matched up against a much more fiscal Marcus Smart, and watch how Kyrie is going to attack to his left across the paint, which both gets Marcus Smart leaning across towards his left, and gives Kyrie all this extra space to turn back over towards his right. And that physicality also extends out to the pruner, where Irving loves to hunt out contact on his drives, to then bump out and create space for his pull-ups. Watch him here get the outside driving angle on the defense. Then notice how Irving veers back into his man to then bump out towards his right and create a window to rise up. Now another big element in Kyrie's mid-range creation is going to be his deceleration off the dribble. Irving is elite at using the threat of his driving to open up the defense's hips to then slam the brakes and separate for a pull-up. 
you'll see him here sizing up his man. And when Irving drops down into this left hand drive, notice how he gets this defender to rotate and open up his hips. And from this spot, Irving has the ability to stop on a dime stepping right left to then elevate up for a balance jumper while the defense's momentum is being pulled downhill. We can see the same thing here, where Irving is now going to rip towards his right, and again notice how quickly he gets the defense to open up their hips. But now Irving is going to separate by sliding the ball behind his back, and giving himself plenty of space to rise up. So when you pair this kind of body control, along with Irving's more efficient handle and improved strength with the ball, you have a guy that has the perfect build to work to spots and create these short, efficient mid-range looks. And Kyrie's improved strength and stability with the ball has also slightly changed his finishing around the basket. But if you want to see that part of the video, that breakdown is going to be exclusively on my Patreon. The kids here.